Welcome to Attican Plays Railroad Corporation. All right, hi, this is Attican, and welcome to a new series of Railroad Corporation. The Civil War DLC has just come out, and we're going to take a look at it and play the first mission. Um, so let's just jump right into it. So it's set up here in the campaigns. Here's the main campaign that you play. It comes with the main game, and here's a Civil War DLC campaign, which we're going to do. And um, I'm starting over uh, for a couple reasons. The uh, biggest one is I've restarted it multiple times just to see what happens. It's very cool. You get a different starting city practically every time you restart. It's, it's very nice. So it really changes uh, to some extent your strategy and how you would play and, and uh, it's, it's just it's nice for replayability so we're going to start over I said a couple reasons one is I have failed this I got sloppy forgot what I was doing and I managed to go bankrupt even though I had an incredibly strong economy so we're starting over all right <laughs> so here we go we're going to pick color blue Attican railroads uh, I prefer well doesn't really matter I prefer to be Attican railways and uh now let's look at our three characters. <clears throat> I, I can tell you after looking at this, I have a strong preference for this guy. But let's talk about the other two. Cheaper track, cheaper bridges and tunnels, great. Expensive uh, locomotives, not great. Uh, high upkeep, definitely not great. Uh, Benjamin's not too bad. Uh, lower fuel consumption and cheaper company asset upkeep, well, those are nice. But less speed, less pulling mass, no thank you. We're not going to ruin our trains. So we're going to go for Alexander because he gives us more power, more, more pulling mass. We pay the price with more fuel consumption and faster aging of the trains. The aging of the trains will not be a problem, at least not for this mission, the way we're going to play it. And the higher fuel consumption, don't mind that a bit, considering what he gives us is the ability to haul more stuff. So where maybe three would be the right load for a certain train, he might be able to haul four, uh, maybe six instead of five. So anytime you can haul more in the same trip, you're just going to make more revenue, and it's just better. So we're going with Alexander Latta. So uh, this is the intro to the mission, and it's basically telling us that the North and the South are kind of starting to fuss in the United States. This is pre-Civil War, and... This is a competition for gunpowder supply in anticipation of war, where there's a competition, the army's having a competition to supply gunpowder to the government, and that's how you're going to get brownie points and win the mission is by being the best supplier of gunpowder. All right, let's get into it. All right, so as I said, you start in different cities every time. This time we're in Hartford, Connecticut. I've started in Hartford, New York, Boston, Poughkeepsie, uh, Manchester, uh, everywhere. Anyway, this time we're in Hartford. The main thing to note is the complex uh, supply chain we have for the gunpowder. It takes a coal and a pyrite, three wood and three saltpeter to make three gunpowder. And it says there's... Uh, mines for the pyrite and saltpeter up at Old Forge and you drop these things off in three different spots Allentown, Albany, or Laconia. They're special warehouses to collect this stuff to create the demand for it. We could even build our own gunpowder mills and we've started here in Hartford as it says. So let's go back on pause and take a look around. Now to me when you do a scenario or a mission you need to do two things. First one is, what's different about this versus everything else we do versus normal game mechanics? By the way, while I do this, I'm assuming you understand basic game mechanics of this game. If you don't, I would highly recommend you go back and watch some of my uh, earlier videos on the game where I went through the regular campaign missions in the base game, and you will get an idea of how the mechanics work, because I'm not going to talk about that too much here. Um, so, um, what's different? We just looked at it, the gunpowder, with the complex supply chain producing gunpowder, and then the whole deal is to win, move that gunpowder, sell it to the Army. Now, the other thing, and I'm going to take a quick look at this guy here, rails and tunnels, yeah, we, would, we wouldn't mind having that guy right off the bat. Let's upgrade our office, let's put in, first main thing, the finance department, and let's also put in HR so we can hire that guy. So now we'll get cheaper rails and I think it was rails and bridges, wasn't it? 
rails and tunnels. Now, the tunnels won't help us, probably. I don't, I'm not a tunnel maker, but the um, rails certainly will. All right, so um, the other thing you need to do is kind of a, a evaluate your competition. If we look here, let's call that the second thing. First thing is what's different. Second thing is what's the competition look like? Look at this purple dude. He is rocking and rolling. Remember, we're doing gunpowder. There's the four thing gunpowder needs. Look right here. There's logging. Right down here, coal. Right up here, pyrite and saltpeter. This guy has everything he needs already set up with lines, double track lines, to move the stuff around. And his delivery point is right here in Albany, close by. He is ready to rock and roll. Huge advantage over us, not to worry. Now, our other dude here is the green guy. He also has a nice setup. He's got his gunpowder. He's got his delivery point. He's got pyrite and coal here. He's got logging right up here. Let's see, what's he missing? Uh, uh, da -da. Uh, saltpeter. Oh, he's got saltpeter right here. So he's got a beautiful setup with everything he needs to move stuff over here and ship it over here to Laconia, from Piermont to Laconia. So they're both way ahead of us in that respect. That not to worry, because we have something beautiful down here. Here's our home base in Hartford. Notice Hartford is a level 35 city. New Haven is a level 35. New York, level 35. Providence, level 35. Boston, level 35. We have five level 35 cities right here around us, and we're already in one of them. That just says that we can make passenger mail lines that just ka-ching, ka-ching, right? And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to, we hired our guy to give us some cheaper rails. We're going to now build some rails. Connect to uh, New Haven. Connect to New York. I think I'd like to uh, actually expand this one and come out of this track. I think I want to keep that middle one to go up to the north. So let's just turn. I actually want to go south of this gunpowder mill. And go into Providence. And we still got plenty of money, so. Let's connect up to Boston. All right, so now we've got all five big cities connected. Now we just need to run some trains. So let's grab a train, buy a John Bull. Add those two stations again, unload the passengers, load mail, unload mail, and load mail. So what I've done here is made one train with a route that does, it's sort of a mail line and a passenger line. And the reason I'm doing that is just to make it easier to update later because we are going to be moving through different, at least one of major update of trains, if not more. And I, want, I don't want it to be too complicated. And also, uh, this way, you run your passengers, then you switch over, switch over to mail, which gives the passengers time to grow back in case you know your lines are, are sucking out the people way too fast. So what I'm gonna do here is apply that, and then I'm going to copy it. We're gonna run two on that little line, but I'm gonna tell it that this time, 
pretend you're down here getting ready to do the mail run. So we'll have a, one starting on passengers and one starting on mail. And we're also going to want uh, repairs. And I'm going to do these as I go because I'm terrible about forgetting them. Uh, I don't want to do this. Well, all right. Now we're at a point where it's time to issue a bond. We're going to issue the biggest bond we can. Spread out the payments. There we go. Now we've got some money to play with. Let's expand. Put in repairs. I actually want to repair at both ends. I like the short repair uh, cycles. So let's, uh, whoops. Forgot I'd already expanded that one. So, I'm just going to, we're going to do repairs all the time. Every time you can get a repair, get it. That way, each time should be quite fast. All right, so let's keep going. Let's expand this model. We're going to go from, uh, this time, New Haven to Hartford. Well, Hartford to New Haven. Add Hartford, add New Haven. Oh, and let me talk about speed limits. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do many basics, but Notice how these five passengers can run 24 max. Notice how these three male can run 26 math. I'm trying to match it up so everybody's around 25. That's what I'm thinking of as the speed limit. So right around 25. I want to keep all the trains there so that you can run freight and passengers on the same line without worrying about one making the other one unduly slow. So that's the idea. Keeps our lines more flexible for down the road. Okay, so there we go with that one. And I'm going to copy that one and tell it this time start down there. Nah, you start there. Doesn't matter. All right, and uh, we still got enough for another train, so let's get started on this line over here. And since we've got so much coming out of here, let's go over here first. Let's start up here and go. Um, uh, unload. Load. Whoops. Add Providence. Add Hartford. And when we have some money, we'll copy that line. Okay, so we've got one last line to set up here, Providence and Boston. And 
And once we get that, I'm going to upgrade these stations so that they can do their service and their, and their uh, refills faster. Oh, we've got another employee here. Cost of, oh yeah, I'll take you. Oh, absolutely, I'll take you. start with the mail line. Okay. So now I think I want to make uh, the refills and the services faster. Let's do, let's upgrade them all to two first. Just kind of walk down the line here. Okay, we'll come back later and make them all threes. All right, it's telling us there they've got these warehouses. Now, these warehouses do imports and exports. Like Boston imports cotton, exports these three products. Providence doesn't have one. New Haven imports cotton and exports steel and lumber. New York exports uh, lubricants and uh, lumber. So yet more ways to make money. All right, so that gives us a pretty good little engine. You can see our money starting to come back pretty well. So what I'm gonna do here is let it run till we have that bond uh, covered. We'll close it out and then we'll expand into our next step here, the next uh, phase of expansion. Right now we've got, these will all be good profitable lines. You can see they're turning green as they cover their initial cost of the train itself. Now all these are making money and they'll just keep right on making money. And these over time, it won't take very long until they're in the green and we'll have uh, two, four, six, eight uh, profitable trains running. And there's a couple more people we can hire. Employee salaries are less. Oh yeah, of course I want you. Uh, let's expand our HR and hire her. And I don't like the ones that you, one thing's good, the other thing's bad. I don't care for that. All right, let's close out our bond, redeem it, and let's issue the biggest bond we can. Now you notice it gave us a message that, one, okay, there's a couple messages. For that first one I just ripped through was, saying that one of our competitors has started selling off gunpowder, so we're falling behind. This message here is saying that the Army is going to ask us for things other than gunpowder. So we'll be ready for that, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. See that right away, they're asking for wood to go to Albany. I'm actually going to accept that because that one's pretty easy to do. Pretty easy. Uh, wood is, there's wood right up here in Mar Marlboro, and there's nobody grabbing that one. So what if we were to go... Let's see. No, I don't want that. Okay, what if we were to make this into a full-blown level five and build a line
right up there to Marlboro. And then what if we were to go like that and connect with that line, which takes us into Albany. Then we could say, uh, how much do they want? They want 11. Three trains would cover that. So if we grab a train and go one, two, three, four, which is right at the speed limit, and go to there and apply that and copy it and copy it. Now, when that third train hits Albany, we will be finished with that task. So we should be able to do that. Um, now, here's the other thing we're going to do. Our buddy's starting to sell. Um, well, you know what? No, I'll come back to that. Hold that thought. Cost of research. If oh, man. <laughs> lower co research costs and um, lower upkeep. Now, I think we got another research dude, don't we? Cost of research minus 10. Cost of research minus 30. We're minus 40 on research, and that's where we want to go next. I want to expand the office, set up R&D, expand the R&D, um, start R&D on this. What we're going to do here, we're not going to try to improve any of these clunker trains. We're going to work our way out to the right to get ourselves a real train. That's going to be our target. And by the way, our goals for this mission are to win, <laughs> of course, do as well as we can on these requests, any side tasks we get, the silver things, and get our research to where we go into the rest of the missions with a real train. That'll make all the rest of this so, so much easier. Now, what was it I wanted to do? Oh, yes. I'm going to make a little line. Do I want to do that? Uh, not quite. Not quite yet. Okay. Go to our office, expand the office, increase our research capability, put everybody on that task. We'll make a little connection going that way. We have 335 days. Okay, we're good on that. But that's what we have to watch. We have to watch this. Okay, our research is done. We'll start start on the DeWitt Clinton. And put everybody on that. And we're going to let's see. Another employee. Oh my word, come on, come on down. More profit, you better believe it. Okay. We don't want the coal mine. We do want a John Bull because this is what we're going to do with this John Bull. We're going to go up here and grab the gunpowder and sell it here. And we can load. Some passengers to take back and we'll have a train doing that. And shoot, I think we're going to have two trains doing that. 
So we're going to run a couple of trains up there, and what we're going to do is take advantage of the fact that our buddy here has done such a good job getting set up to create this gunpowder. Look at all this beautiful gunpowder. We're going to come up and take that gunpowder and deliver it here to uh, Albany and get credit for it. And, okay, our wood uh, job is done. I think we're just going to let these trains just kind of sit there. They'll sit there in sort of limbo for the time being. I could put them on something else, but it's going to be a lot of work. I'm just going to wait and see what comes up next in terms of opportunities. How are we here? 261 days. Um, T10 could not, well, yeah, we know that. That's fine. They'll, they'll just sit there idle. Research is done. We'll go to our transition research that will open up the Jervis. Ooh, they want meat. Man, I would love to be able to do that. The problem with that particular task, and I hate the fact that I can't kind of look this things over. The problem with that task is that there's no far I, I can tell. I, I'm, let's do a spawn and let's do a quick span and see if there's any farms out here we can use. I don't see a farm on the map, which says two things. Uh, this task is going to be hard to do because we're going to have to spend money to make a farm or we have to make enough money to get the farm to buy the lot make the farm set up the line with the wheat you know all that stuff we're gonna have to refuse that one but um it also says maybe we ought to do that anyway to have meat coming into our system because all these towns need it uh don't want that logging now let's see if our guys are getting any yeah see in queue for maintenance. Oh, that, that's the big problem. He, he's just too slow. There, everything's slow up there, but that's okay. When we get these trains going, they're going to be taking away this. The more of it we take, the less he's able to purple guy's able to carry, so we're, we're looking good there. I want to close out our bond? No, I don't. Almost want to. I want to move to the next phase as soon as we can close. We'll close out that bond, open a bigger bond, and we'll do our next thing I want to do. Although, man, uh, double tracking some of this stuff would be a very nice thing to do as well. All right, let's uh, start on the Jervis. And any employees worth hiring? Oh, more passenger mail, of course. Of course we want you. Uh, passenger mail profit. Um, upgrade DHR. Hire her. Iron ore will cost you less. Iron ore. I don't, oh, is there a steel mill that could, I, I don't think that's going to work. We could export steel, certainly. And I'm looking at way down the road. This is a war scenario or a pre-war scenario. Every one of these towns needs weapons. I'm thinking that's where I want to ultimately be is in the weapons business. I mean, where else would you want to be in a pre-war scenario? There's a steel mill in Scranton. Where could we sell steel right off the bat? Uh, down here in uh, New Haven. That's not awful. But where are we going to get that ore? We can get the coal, but the ore... Uh, we'd have to go up here to our buddy to Granville to get the ore, it looks like. Nah, nah. Nah. Uh, 
Okay. Now I gotta watch very carefully. You can see these guys have now, see they have this, but they paid 18,000. They paid $36,000 for that load. Now that's the bad news. The good news is they're gonna make, or no, no, they're gonna get, make 36, they paid 24. So they're gonna make good money on it. But we have to be very careful. Anytime you start buying stuff, you have to watch your money. So let's uh, close this bond. Now what we could do is, uh, okay, our other guys are, what we could do is stay cash, and maybe slow down a little bit. That would be the conservative thing to do. Rails and, uh, rails, rails, rails. Ooh, that's, uh, no, no, no. Do we want to go? No, no, no. I'm not going to be a wimp. If we if we go cash only, that's that's too slow. Let's speed up. Let's open a giant bond for two hundred fifty thousand, and let us two hundred fifty thousand. Let us go up here to the only. I've been looking around. The only oil I can see is right here. Oh, somebody. I don't remember that being auctioned. Oh well, um, we can't buy it. That a spot? No, it's not. I'm looking for a piece of land up there. There aren't any. There's one in Manchester. Are we delivering anything now? Let's see. Yeah, see, we've sold four, and we've got our trains going back to get more, so that should do just fine. I guess one thing we can do, of course, is um, we can start selling green our green guys um, gunpowder as well. <sighs> Let's, uh, whoops. Let's go. Let's go ahead and grab Manchester. Let's hook into his line up that way. And let's start stealing his stuff too. Um, John Bull. We'll send a couple of trains up there to uh, steal the green uh, stuff. And we've got two trains down here stealing purples. And we're not stealing it, we're just buying it and then selling it. Um, well, shoot, I wanted to get, I really did want to get into oil and then eventually weapons. And we're going to. Even if we couldn't own the oil well, we can own the rest of it. Uh, 
Okay, so let's put in a refinery right there, and then let's set up a line. Three looks like it's going to be right. And go down here. And can he come back with anything? Yeah, he can come back. He can load passengers. And I'll, I'll explain that when I've seen that before. I'll explain that in just a second. Passengers back to here to Stratford on the way back. What just happened here? Load. I, I could have sworn I already did that. Unlo oh, crap. Load oil. Go to Manchester. Unload the oil. Pick up some optional passengers. Take them back to Stratford. And I don't want that. Um, apply. Let's run a couple of them. And I'm going to... Upgrade this, put in a repair. And set these trains to get repairs in Manchester. Okay. Oh my, um, and then we're going to set up a train that grabs this kerosene. Five is too slow. And goes to Boston, picks up mail. Add Manchester, go to Providence. Add Manchester, go to uh, Hartford. We're going to get a lot of mail in Manchester. Manchester to New Haven. Add Manchester and add New York. Now, the reason I'm going through all this rigmarole, making all these complicated lines, I don't want a bunch of trains flooding each of these cities with these uh, with the oil kerosene. I want it spread out across the cities that the towns that need it, so we keep getting a good price for it. And we can run more oh, price of locomotives. Yeah, we'll take you, buddy. Welcome aboard. Uh, where were you a minute ago? All right. So um, he was probably right there. I was just asleep. I still got these three trains that are just sitting there doing nothing, but that's that's kind of okay right now. I keep thinking we'll get another task. 
Oh, we do have one to deliver the gunpowder. And our research is done. So let's start this one. Let's start their gateway to the Mibnon. And, and we're not quite keeping pace on our sales yet, but uh, yeah, our trains are still working their way up here to this one. It's a tough road to get through all that traffic and the AI's inefficient routes. Um, okay, what's this law right here? Oh, more mail revenue. We would like that. That would be worth opening up at minimum a two-person shop and saying, oh, in Providence. What's Providence? Oh, we, we don't want that. We do want that. All right, we're going to open up. <laughs> we're going to expand our office. Need 14. Wait till we have a little bit more money. Okay, now we'll take a look at the legislation. We'll go to Providence and we'll say four of you say no thanks to that. And then three of you say, yes, we would very much like that. Okay. We've lost train somewhere. Where's where's our oil train? Here it is. Okay, it's still working its way up there. All right. Soil, soil, no. Carbondale, we don't care about. I hate to do this, but I'm going to scrap these idle trains. They are not, and watch as soon as I do this, there's going to be a new task. We know that's coming. What are we looking at? 270 days. We're going to, have to be careful here. Uh, we could blow ourselves up. We need 43,000 to start our next research. And there's another law out here. Marlboro. We're not actually running tourists up there. I don't think we have anybody. Yeah, we don't have anybody anyway. They're all busy. All right, so... <laughs> There, we finally got some trains up here to, to Piermont. And what we'll do is um, we'll give them a much more direct route. Okay, this one's telling us we've got a presidential election and New York, Boston, Utica, Portland, and Albany are going to accept paper. Uh, so there's a lot of room for paper. I mean, we could make some money by, uh, let's see, is it imported anywhere? No, it isn't. Uh, but if we had a paper mill, you know, we're logging someplace that made paper, we could certainly uh, make some money, but we got other things to do. Yeah, we're kind of keeping pace with our deliveries. 
They want wood, and now see, there it is. What did I tell you? They want wood in Laconia. All right, let's accept that. How many? How many do they want? 17. So, pause. All right, let's go. Do we want to go Jervis? I don't mean for this, I mean in general. Um, 72 mass, 72 speed versus same mass. Oh, the Jervis is like twice as fast. Un unimproved the Jervis is twice as fast we could double up our throughput here just by running the Jervis rather than John Bull and the Memnon no we haven't started it yet let me do that okay the Memnon would absolutely 132 and 32 I'm gonna look at the mass and the speed. The Jervis is so fast. The Jervis would actually be really useful on those passenger and mail lines. Would it not? Would it not? Um, hmm. hmm. Oh, oh, gotta get that wood. Uh, let's, let's, let's do run Jervis. Let's just see how it goes. Let's buy a Jervis. Let's go. It can run the same amount as the um, four, which is the same as the John Bull, only it's twice as fast. So go over there. Run a couple of them, and let's put a repair shop here. Now, shoot. I thought I just gave that a route. I didn't. And what we'll want to do now is build some track and make that a much quicker run, which is fine. Mail profits up 15%. Hold on. How are we going to swing that? Uh, our HR is as big as it can be. 21 required. How much space do we have left? Uh, we need more space and we're already bumped up as big as we can get. We need one of those people that compacts everybody, but we don't have one. So we'll just have to do with what we've got for employees. And famous last words, we've got to watch this now. I know it's 225 days, but we're not, we're, running some stuff kind of at cost right now. We've got a few things going that are not making us money. Like these Jervises right here are not making us money. Let's run and give them a nice... Oh my goodness, stop. Oh my, I didn't even pay attention. Take a loan. Could have gotten fired right there. See, now this one unfortunately got started before I built that piece of track, but I think he'll should loop back over and find it. Let's see if he does. Yeah, good job, guy. Good job. All right, now we just got to sit tight. I've got to stop spending for a minute until we can pay off that bond. 
In fact, let's pay off this. 136000 Did I borrow that much money? No, I didn't. Oh, oh, it's charging us all that effort. Uh, we'll just let that loan go. <laughs> uh, I think we're done hiring people. Oh, oh, I do have one more thing I want to do. Doggone it. Jervis. Notice how there's 35 gun powder right here. So what we need to do is make a connection there. Get a train and tell it to go to New York. And I don't know what this one is, but I will. Okay, give it a job. All right now we're running negative. I've got too much stuff going on. Oh, don't go broke. Oh, whoa, whoa. You. Uh. Do not buy anything right now. for Marlboro. Do we care about? No. Not really. Okay, let's fire up this research. This is the gateway to the American, should be, I think. Yep. Allentown, do we care about Allentown? Man, look at that, 120% for passengers. I think we should care about it. Can't do meat. Let's put four on it. And let's tell you what we're going to do before I totally mess up everything. We're going to redeem that bond and go cash. Sorry, I'm hitting the wrong keys. And as soon as we have enough cash, we'll build a line and start running Thirty-one thousand. Oh man, sorry, I'm falling off the right, off, falling off my keys here. Need about sixty to actually get going here. See, we're not really making money right now. We're kind of living on the edge because we're buying that expensive gunpowder.
There we go. Confirm that. And we'll get a Jervis to go. Okay, I want more research, but I also, there, we got our army wood. That gave us some money, too. Uh, 60 grand to do the American research. And, oh, our bond just closed out, I guess. Oh, no, I already did that. That's right. Forgive me. We're cash only. Except for this, we're still paying off that loan, but that's okay. It doesn't come at you at a big gulp like the uh, the bond does. Uh, I'd love to have more profit. We're, we're kind of maxed out on our employees right now. What we could think about, oh, you know what we could do, though? We could look at our employees and say, okay, we, we, we're not going to be building a lot more track. Want her. We can let him go. I want her, I want him, I want her, we definitely want him, but I think that should allow us to hire more male profit. Okay, so our male profit should be up to uh, pretty strong. <laughs> And we're keeping pace on this. And we're not really even focusing on it. We're just keeping pace with our little supplying the other guys, so to speak. Yeah, see, there's plenty to buy. We just, you have to have enough money to buy it with. And I'm not sure I understand why all these trains are stopped right here. T20. Oh, oh, oh. He has no place to go. Just sell it to the town. T19 is probably the same thing. Sell it to the town. There you go. Okay, now we can afford our research. Army request Wood to Albany. We will accept that and pause. And we will take our two trains here. And they will go to Albany. And where's the other one? Maybe I only did one. Maybe that that was that odd one we that was just sitting there un unassigned. What's he doing? Why is he idle? Uh, 
I, I don't understand why he is idle. Let's have him get maintenance in Albany. This this one's past too full. <laughs> Okay, now we really are cash. Let's stop right there. That's a good place to stop. We are truly cash only. I think, we're, I think I'm going to try to stay that way. It's so tempting to keep going, but I'm telling you, the way you can truly lose this is to get a giant bond coming up due, forget about it, buy it by a whole bunch of stuff. Well, look at this. Lower upkeep, cheaper trains. I'd love to have the cheap train guy because we're going to get ready here. Next phase, we're going to move up to some big boy trains. At least that's the plan. And they're more expensive. I think I am going to do one thing, though. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to copy that train right there. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to make it worse on him. I'm going to uh, schedule a re let's, let's do <laughs> Start over. Schedule replacement. Put in the Memnon. I'm not sure I understand what's going on here. What's it trying to tell me? Are you? Oh, oh, this is something I, I feel like they need to fix. What's happening here is I'm trying to set this up. I want to do the replace. And I want this John Bull to be replaced with a Memnon. So I'm trying to give it the, the way I'd have a Memnon set up, which is hauling more stuff, right? But it won't let me do that until the train... I, so I have to follow this thing into a station. Maybe... Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to pause. I'm going to... Schedule it for a Memnot, and I'm not going to change any of its settings. Now, when it gets to Utica, that's its home base, or that's one of its stops. A little bit of a pain to have to watch this when I'd like to be... Okay, now it's a Memnon. Now I can re reprogram it. See, it can easily hand it can handle twice as much. Keep making the same mistake, and then it should be able to handle twice as many here too. Certainly more. 
Let's do two, four, six, eight, nine. And let's copy that and run another one up there. And I'd like to do the same thing up here. I'd like to replace this with the Memnon. Okay. Replace this with a Memnon. Now it's a Memnon. Oh, this is this is our oil one. Watch this one. Sorry, I think I wanted to stop, didn't I? But uh, I can't stop till this this guy gets his track. Gets his once he gets his replacement, then I'll upgrade him. And re really, ideally, you'd be able to go ahead and preset it with your new settings for the new train, uh, even though you're running an older train or a different train. Where do you go? Oh, great! Now he's gotten away from us. All right, let's wrap up right there. Uh, we're in a great shape. I'll, I'll, fix, I'll just follow this T-15 and make sure he gets updated. And in our next episode, we're going to uh, take advantage of some of this uh, research we've been queuing up. We're on, a tech, we're on a cash only, so we shouldn't have any big gotchas like bonds falling and killing us. We're keeping pace. We're actually starting to get ahead now. And as we get better trains, that our gain will get will be even greater and we'll start looking with better and better i hope you enjoyed this i hope it'll help you become a better player and i hope you'll join us for our next railroad corporation video thank you